Hello and welcome to the another episode on tips and workflow. In this week's workflow video, I'm going to demonstrate an extension of the previously shown video of transferring the data from mole flow to the structural analysis to capture the as manufacturer effect. It not only captures the as manufacturer effect, but you get an much detailed information on the material uh, fiber orientation and the most important, the strength of the weld line. In this flow, we are going to use alias PFA, also known as advanced material exchange, to transfer the data from mold flow to structural codes like Autodesk Nastran, Dosso System Sabacus, and ANSYS. So, how is the procedure? Well, you can go on to the knowledge.autodesk.com and try download a 30 days trial version of Helios PFA. Uh, and if you don't get an access to the 30 days trial version by default, you can reach out to the, your reseller or to the Autodesk sales team. So once you install the Helios PFA, uh, how is the procedure? You can map in the, the structural file as it is. Like in this case, I have Nastran file. And later, you can import a .sdy file. But before you import the .sdy file, you make sure that you run the fill pack analysis. So minimum like fill and pack is needed. But if you want, you can run it as cool fill pack and warp analysis, like in this case. And you can do a complete modeling of the feed system or the cooling channels, as much as details. So once you import this, you can straightforward go for the checking of the mapping suitability, like in this case, I have checking the mapping suitability, whether the mapping will happen or which regions the mapping will not happen and so on and so forth. Well. In this case, you can take a call on like to improve the mapping. If at all you are not satisfied with the mapping details, and then redo the mapping for it. Well, what results you get into the mapping is like the fiber orientation. Like in this case, I'm trying to show you the fiber orientation. and then the residual strain which everyone is looking at for and then the most important is the weld line strength so we also do the mapping of the weld line strength now when we do a mapping there is a two material models that we can work upon is elastic plastic and linear elastics often it has been misinterpreted that we always need a straight strain data well in this case when you go for a linear elastic we don't need a stress strain data still the analysis at every location is performed in the non-linear way how is that at, at different locations at different node points your young's modulus and poisons ratio is going to be different so that itself is a like a non-linear rather than assume a completely linear data across the complete component. But if you want to play around with a non-linear zone, you can put the material model as elastic plastic. In this case, probably you need to add in the non-linear uh, data that is the strength data at uh, temperature and relative humidity and strain rates. We do have an option of adding the compression data as well, but that's not a mandatory. Uh, the data in the tension is good enough to get started. With it. So once you do the mapping, uh, you can export the file and you can rerun re re it in Nastran or Abacus or ANSYS. The 
the best part of this is that you can see that the meshes are different. You go with the more flow mesh as tetrahedral mesh, and with the NAS run, you go with the your combination of tet, penta, and pyramid mesh. And you don't have to even worry on the orientation part of it. There is an interactive alignment, like you can choose the alignment if you are don't want to do a complete part mapping you can select a section of it and you can do the mapping for it and in automatic alignment though the, your geometry like in case of plastic injection molding the geometry may be put in the direction of the injection mold and in case of structure maybe its geometry is oriented as per the assembly not to worry it does the does it automatic alignment I know it's a very short video, uh, but if you need more information, please reach out to our partner or Autodesk sales team. Thank you for your time.